hello everyone today i am going to create this glass railing along with its handrail and all of the detailed components but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start open a new architecture template file in revit First of all, I am going to place the staircase uh, from level 1 to level 2 using the stair command. And I am keeping the number of risers to be 20 and the uh, tread depth to be 1 feet. And also there is going to be a landing between these two flights as shown. By default, this is the railing which is placed on the stairs. So, open this dialog box and first of all, uncheck all of these uh, balusters. Make sure these are none. So, as we don't need them. So, now th there is only a top rail. Uh, from here, you can specify the height of the railing. And also, you can change its profile. And its position from this dialog box and if you go to level 1 you can see that this is where the handrail is placed and yeah that's okay I have to place the glass uh, railing outside it so for that select this railing uh, model in place component and then go to the east elevation so as to have this side of the staircase then select extrusion set the reference plane to this surface and draw the um, elevation for the glass railing as shown I am going to keep the glass to be 3 inches above the handrail The profile for the elevation of glass railing is now complete. So here I am going to give it an extrusion start of 1 inches and an extrusion end of 1.5 inches making the glass to be a total thickness of 0.25 inches and you can see in the elevation uh, floor plan at where it is placed. Now uh, provide a material of glass to this extrusion. Also, if you want, you can create a more detailed design for this uh, glass. So, I am going to place uh, some reference planes as shown in the video. And then uh, I am going to use the dimension tool to make them equal on both sides. Uh, the design, uh, these reference planes are basically dependent on the design of the glass. Either you want to keep an equal distance or the equal width of glass, it depends upon your design. So after that, I am going to uh, create uh, an opening between the glass panels as shown so i'm going to so i have created a profile I've, i have created the extrusion profile as shown 
so that there are equal number of there are there are these panels with a uh, uh, distance between them so with the help of this you you cannot attain this type of railing with the help of baluster command or the railing command because in that the panel remains of equal shape and of the same shape and equal size now just simply mirror it for the opposite side now open a new family template file of generic model now go to the front elevation of this template file and with the help of extrusion i am going to create this um, cylindrical shape of uh, zero uh, four inches length and one inches in diameter and i am going to make another copy of it at somewhere here so now select both of them and assign material to it now save this file and load it into the project and before you place it in the uh, floor plan make sure to place some reference planes uh, so that you uh, you should know that where you are going to place those components so i need to place two of them between in uh, for each glass panel and for the landing i'm going to place three of them so i'm i have placed these uh, two reference planes between each glass panel and with the help of dimension tool i have made them equal but it is all depends upon the design of the railing which you are going to use after completing this step go to level 1 and start placing those uh, components which you have loaded into the project file previously so uh, select the component and use the space bar to rotate them and start placing them as shown if all the reference planes are not visible in level 1 then you can also move to level 2 and place the remaining components as the, uh, the remaining reference planes will be visible there after completing this step go to the elevation and I have to edit it a little bit it is based uh, wrong okay so after this uh, I am going to place a reference plane at a at an offset of two inches from the base so for that just simply place a reference plane like this and then you use select that reference plane and use the move command to move it at two inches so place this reference plane on the landing and the second flight as well
now select and move these components from this point towards this point one by one so now after you have placed all of them it kind of looks like this uh, select one and right click on it and from here select all instances and then go to level one and mirror it so that these are placed on the other side of this staircase now open another new template uh, family template file of generic model and here with the help of extrusion draw the pin uh, this i am going to use this pin to attach the handrail to the glass panel After completing its modeling, uh, assign material to this uh, component. and then load it into the project again go in the level 1 floor plan use the space bar to rotate them and place them on the reference planes and the and above the previous uh, components but unfortunately the length of this component is less than needed it should be more so you don't have to worry about it double click on this family to open the family file to open the family file and then simply go to level one as reference level of this floor reference level floor plan and simply change its dimensions as shown now save and load it into the project overwrite the existing version and uh, place them as shown so you need to place them on all of these previous uh, pins which you have placed uh, to attach the glass panel to the staircase
after placing all of them go to the elevation and start moving them one by one so that they are attached to the handrail Again select all of them and mirror copy it so that they are placed on the other side of the staircase towards the other glass panel as well. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.